Well, Breaking Ground is an uh, art and archaeology project which is sponsored by the Arts Council of England and the National Football Museum in Manchester and also supported by the local council here in Bradford. And we are exploring the history and heritage of the former football ground at Park Avenue um, and uh, artists are working with archaeologists to um, mark and celebrate this location through artistic uh, means. There's so much memorabilia that's been turned up that um, we're trying to keep a record of that and uh, one of the artists in particular is responding to uh, some of that memorabilia and those personal stories. So really in a sense, I, I guess what the, 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 the artist's role is is to try and um, give not only the history of the ground but also the archaeology and the geophysics on the ground some visibility um, in a way in which can be sort of grasped and understood by a wider audience. It's, it's, it's an extremely uh, an unusual, uh, if not unique, uh, project. Um, I can only think of one other archaeological project which has focused on uncovering part of a football ground. Um, this is unique in, the, in that we are focusing our attention primarily on the pitch. I've been amazed at uh, the response we've had, the, the amount of people who've come down and visit us every day. and. You know, the cuttings and the um, archival material that they bring with them has been um, really interesting and informative. Um, then, for example, the terrace, which once had 10,000 people on it, is now really a forest. It's had 35 years of natural tree growth on it. So we've got a botanical artist who's looking at the varieties of plant species that have taken, you know, taken root there. Um, how various are they, how old are they, um, and so she's really responding to, to that side of it. And what we want to do is get as many uh, Bradford Park Avenue and other fans who are just keep keen to celebrate his history uh, to turn up at about 10.30 tomorrow morning. And then at 11 we, we want all the fans to be congregated on the terrace so we can record a minute's applause. Um, and again, it, it's really to celebrate the fact that there's so many people interested and connected with this place and we want to, to, to give that some real visibility.